Hi everyone, this is Abdul. Welcome back to Pythonist YouTube channel. In a few of our previous videos, we are exploring static versus dynamic typing. Both of these options have their pros and cons. Static typing provides better performance, while dynamic typing provides convenience. But wait, why not use both of these types together? So we can combine the performance of static typing with the ease of dynamic typing. That's the thing we are going to talk about in this video. Cython allows assignments between statically and dynamically typed variables. This blending of static and dynamic is a powerful feature that we can use in several situations. It allows us to use dynamic Python objects for the majority of our code base and easily convert them into fast, statically typed and logious for the performance critical sections. So let's see an example. Here you can see we have defined some variables named a, b and c of type integers by using the cdef keyword. These are static variables. On the next line we defined a python tuple named tuple underscore of underscore integer by using the static variables. This tuple is dynamically typed. The simplicity of this example is part of Cython's power and beauty. We can just create a tuple of C integers in an obvious way without further thought. We want conceptually simple things like this to be simple. And that is what Cython provides us. This example works because there is an obvious correspondence between C integers and Python integers. So Python can transform things automatically for us. This example would not work as is if A, B and C were, for example, C pointers. In that case, we would have to dereference them before putting them into the tuple or use another strategy. So here, in this table, you can see the type correspondence between built-in Python types and C or C++ types for some variable types. First one is from Python boolean to C bint. The bint boolean integer type is an integer at the C level and is converted to and from a Python boolean. It has the standard C interpretation of truthiness. Zero represents the false, while non-zero represents true. Another one is from Python float to float double and long double. A Python float is stored as a C double. Converting a Python float to a C float may truncate to positive or negative infinity, according to the IEEE conversion rules. The next one is from Python complex to float complex and double complex. The Python complex type is stored as a C struct of two doubles. Cython has float complex and double complex C level types, which correspond to the Python complex type. The C types have the same interface as the Python complex type, but use efficient C level operations. Another one is from Python dict to Cython's struct. Great. So that's how we can combine the static and dynamic typing from Python and Cython and utilize the pros from both options to make our life easier. I think that's enough for this video. In our next video, we will talk about how can we declare static types within Python by using a Python type. How static can really improve the performance. And also, we will understand how memory management happens in Cython by talking about the reference counting. If you like the content of this video, thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.